Hey guys, Matt Amchak here again from Plymouth CrossFit, introducing to you this year's first ever Yeti Challenge. Uh, to give you guys an idea of the competition, the first event is a combined total of your Olympic total. We're doing things a little different here at Plymouth CrossFit, not going for that USAW feel. The way we're going to run the bars is each weight category will be coming up to the bar at the lowest set class weight. So if you're in the 69 and below category of women, whatever the lowest weight for all the ladies is, the bar will start there. So essentially you will be on that bar when it comes up to your weight. We'll go over that in a little bit. It's going to go the same for each class. The way it's going to work is you're going to come in that day, you'll come in, register, pay, and then you're going to put on your weight for what your weight class is and then also your first two estimates for your weight class for what lifts you want to do. From there you'll head out, we'll have, as my awesome diagram represents, okay, you'll have the rig, so all the uh, positions for the lifts will be set up, you'll have the hooks, and then you'll also have all the grass area for the warm-up area and a little bit more. Then the way the lines are going to form is right here and here for waiting for the bar. We'll have two separate stations going on to make things move a little bit faster. You'll have two judges that will confirm the lift yes or no, and you will be moving from bar to bar depending on the weight class. So, the way the bars are going to go, the first weight will be set and then it will be started. So if the lowest person in that class is 150 pounds for their snatch, and they want to move up after they've confirmed that lift, they'll have to wait till it comes to their weight again. So if there's nine people doing 150, they'll all run through and confirm. Then when their next guest, let's say 175 is their next guest, they will then come up and get in the line that's formed on whatever set they're on, and they will then lift. If they fail a rep, the weight never goes down on any of the bars. So if you fail 150, you can get back in line for that 150 before the bar goes up. So like we've done before, you have to pay attention for your name to get called or we will move past. So the snatch portion of the max rep, there's a couple rules we're gonna standardize. Uh, the major one is it must be one continuous motion. From the minute the bar is taken off the ground, it must be one continuous motion and fluid. It does not have to be a squat snatch. We kind of played around, talked about that a little bit. We're gonna allow power in to see what kind of lifts we can get. Next, control. I do not want to see bars coming up to the top locked out position and just dropped and thrown. All right, control the bar on the way up. No press out. Once you come up to that full position, can't land here and then press up. And the last big piece, must hold and finish, just like the USAW style, until that judge, that head judge out of the pair of judges, confirms that lift as good or down. That will confirm. For our clean and jerk portion, the rules of that, okay, right off the bat, must be a jerk, no uh, getting caught up in the half press. All right, I fell victim to that. Also, safety. Safety's always our number concern, all right? Number one concern, no elbow bashing. Do not come up and bash those elbows into the thigh. It's not safe, and we'll just knock you right out. Next, same things. Does not have to be a squat, it can be a power movement. Must be controlled. Just like the snatch, no press out also, we already went over that. And must hold and finish until again that judge says good or down. After we've completed our totals, the new scores will be updated and you'll be placed accordingly. Scores in this competition will be CrossFit score. System of 100 points to first place, then down by three past that. Wad one. Wad one will be a 10 minute time cap and wrap wad. Wad one after the total for the Olympic total has been added and set up, scoring again the CrossFit style of first place, receiving 100 points for the highest total of that weight class and then down by three. Then we'll move over into our first wad. Wad one will be a 10 minute time cap wad. Your job is to complete a one mile run, exiting the gym through the back bay door, then running to the street, completion of half a mile there, half a mile back in through this door. Your judge will be waiting at your bar as prescribed for your weight class. With the remaining time, you have to complete as many reps as possible of an overhead squat. That will determine your score for that wad. Wad two, as you can see, nice simple CrossFit style wad. Uh, really gonna beat up your body on this one. 21.15.9 as prescribed for your weight class of good front squats and good box jumps. So whether it is 24 inch box or 28 inch box, that's just depending on your weight class. For the last wad, for the final three 
contestants, if you will, for the Yeti Challenge. It's going to come down to the 2011 game squad of rope climbs and clean and jerks. I didn't put the women's weights up here. This pattern goes down the same. The heavier class is as prescribed per games. The lighter class will be down by 20 pounds, just like here. As you can see, the workout starts with five rope climbs. The height will be there. It'll be the same height as the games. Then it's a 145 clean and jerk. Then you will do five reps. Then four climbs, four reps. Three, three, two, two, one, and one to close out the workout. The middleweight guys will be down by 20. And then the category below that, the lightweights, will be down by 20 on that. So it should be nice and even. Everyone should do good.